Uh, what are we up to now, uh, Larry? I think it's time for the top 10 bubblegum machine toys. Oh, the top 10. You'll like this one. The top 10 toys you'll find in bubblegum machines. Or most of these you probably used to find them in bubblegum machines. I don't know. Do they still have bubblegum machines? If they do, I bet they're not a penny or a nickel. You remember that? Penny bubblegum machines? Nickel. I remember when it went to 50 cent and you had to put two quarters in. Then it went to 75 and I said, I'm out of here. I can't do this anymore. So, we've got top 10 right here. The top 10 list of the best bubblegum toys. Bubblegum machine toys. See if you'll agree with this list right here. And... What's that, Larry? You used to buy stuff out of the bubblegum machine? I never bought them, but my friend used to drive me crazy because he would buy Mike and Ike's outside of the Walmart in a vending machine. For 75 cents, he would get maybe 10 of them, but he could go right inside Walmart and buy a whole big box of them for a dollar. Yeah, it really didn't, didn't make uh, much sense, but bubblegum machines were more than just a way to feed the llama at the petting zoo. You could also get toys. Let's look at this top 10 list right here. Mini rubber action figures. You remember those? Sometimes they were erasers. Sometimes you thought they were erasers, so you just rubbed them on stuff and they broke. But a lot of times they were just mini rubber action figures. They wasn't really licensed bland, brand based on movies. Sometimes, I think they did a He-Man when you found sometime. But overall, they were just generic looking action figures. Rubber and mini. Everything was mini in the bubblegum machine. How about this one right here? Number nine, temporary tattoos. Stick them on you. Throw some water on you, rub it in, peel it up really slowly for it to work, and it will stay on your arm for about 35, 45 minutes. I remember getting these in bubblegum machines, didn't have any water on the ride home, spitting on it, and trying to get it wet, trying to hold it down. A lot of times you peel it up, half of it would stay on the paper. They also came in Cracker Jacks. It was always great. Let's do a video about how sucky Cracker Jack prizes are now. What happened, Cracker Jack? You used to have... Temporary tattoos, the mattifying glass. You had all kinds of things. What do you got now? I don't know, it's some kind of little paper. It's always paper toys now. I don't know. What are we up to? Number nine. This is a good one here. This one could have been number one if I had time to put these in order. Mini football helmets. Now, I'm not a sports guy. I don't know about sports guys. I, I mean, I don't know about sports and everything, but even I, walking past the bubblegum machine, wanted a mini helmet. I was like, I'm from Georgia, so I was like, give me a Falcons helmet. Actually, I think back in the 80s, I wanted Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know why I love the Pittsburgh Steelers. Didn't watch football. I guess it's because I got a free Mean Joe Green t-shirt from a Pepsi contest, from a coat contest. And I think he was a quarterback or something for the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. But I had shoes that was the color of Pittsburgh Steelers. I had a Pittsburgh Steelers jacket. And I wanted a mini Pittsburgh Steelers helmet. Never got it. But that was always really popular. The mini helmets in the bubblegum machine. What are we up to now? Number seven. Porn mustaches. Any kid in the neighborhood could look like his favorite porn star with a porn glue with a porn mustache. That's right. Just stick it on, and it's a porn mustache. I think Larry had one on our Halloween special. That was a real mustache. That took me like six months to grow that thing out. No, I don't think that was a real mustache, Larry. You're not getting by on that one. Uh, number six. I don't know if this should be on the best list. Empty bubblegum machine plastic ball. Or a container, I guess. Now that I look at my nose, I say container. This is when you put your money in the machine, turn the crank, the little plastic thing falls out, you open it up, and there's nothing in it. You got an empty one. Ha! You just wasted a nickel, sucker! Ha <laughs> ha, we got you, sucker. Nickel. That's a nickel down the drain. Okay, number five. You could buy this in the toy store, or you could get a smaller version in a bubblegum machine. Slime. Who didn't love slime? I loved getting slime as a kid. Slime was pretty cool, if you ask me. Pretty cool. Right, Miley? Pretty cool. Number four. I don't know what you call it, but it's that rubber pop thing. You know, you push it down, wait a few seconds, boom, and it pops up. Always in bubblegum machines. Scared the heck fire out of me. Number three. I don't know if anybody remembers this. I remember them barely, so you might not. Monsters. Mini monster heads that would stick to your skin. You could stick it right on your forehead. Look, Mom, Frankenstein. And stick it right there on you. Look, Mom, I'm the wolf man. Check it out. It was pretty cool. I said check it out, but it's right here the whole time. Um, number two. This is kind of more than just one thing right here. 
horror supplies. All kinds of horror themed watch that would never work. A horror themed rubber pencil or something. A ring. It was something horror related. And walking by that mobile gun machine had the exit by Zares. You just had to put your money in it. You wanted something horror because you just saw that bloody, disgusting thing. And kids, especially boys, love anything bloody and disgusting. That was until they reach adulthood. And then they don't want to go nowhere near bloody and disgusting. Disgusting. That time, that that week of the month, anyway. Uh, okay, number one. These were also sold in stores, but you can get probably smaller ones in the bubblegum machine. So don't put in the comments that they're not bubblegum machine toys. Because they were, because I bought some. Creepy wall crawlers. Creepy wall walkers. Remember these? They look like little octopuses or something. You throw them at a window or the wall and they would trickle down. Now, I think they first were released as toys, but then as it became popular, they made mini ones and put them in bubblegum machines. Who didn't love these things? They was really, everybody had them. Everybody loved them. They were cool. Uh, so that's the top 10. That is the top 10. Larry, you got any bubblegum machine toys? No, I can't remember any as a kid. We didn't have bubblegum machines on uh, Hoth. But I tell you what, this I want to take a minute to rant a little bit. I want to talk about Donald Trump. Can we just for a second? Oh, no, Larry. No, Larry. No, no, we're not talking about Donald Trump and politics. No, sir, we're not, we're not going there. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>